Already with heavy hearts, a set of bereaved persons were stopped and turned away from accessing the entrance of the mortuary. The main gate to the mortuary and a lock with red banners displayed. These relatives had come to make payment and paperwork to get the body of their relative for a funeral to happen this weekend. But things took a different turn. Nipawa, it was a Saturday year by you know, into a noon tina bar, Saturday about the year, Nipa, but it was a bear payment, a bear be a senior asset Saturday, a bear, a bear cock and camera. My empire born and say, I'm better to marry a woman be by my F. Say, I ain't she and you laugh for a year, no. And they're behind you, a behind you, and you say a bush and phone, son of Cotinassi. Now, you're shed the bear. If you say, Aha, me journal, cemetery, and I'm afraid, me free, no, you are quite a be our. It's a Saturday basso. This is the story of not just them, but other families in similar situations. strike. <laughs> If you no fear no way, ni if you no fear no, ni bi ano na ba wona ka mete strike ambulance bi ma mo sha ma me na no chumo be twa ka ofi dem mo no chumo. Another family that preempted the situation had to convey the body of their relative to a private mortuary, but not without some difficulty with paperwork. They said they are on strike, so it's either we take our bodies to a private morgue or we keep them here till they resume their strike and it's really affecting us. So we came for our bodies on Tuesdays, Tuesday to a private morgue, and we are, we are coming for the paperwork to take to the private morgue. It's really frustrating because it's also at an extra cost, and it, it, it's very frustrating. Away from the families, drivers are also feeling the impact. These fleets of hearses remain packed due to the strike. <laughs> Yeah, because However, attempts to get leadership of the Mortuary Workers Association proved futile, but the government has assured of their commitment to get their concerns resolved immediately after a sermon by the National Labour Commission. Evelyn Araba Edu, reporting from the Kolebu Mortuary.